Trump's chilling case of kidnapping and perhaps much more. A woman was found chained up in a storage container in Woodruff today, months after she disappeared. Spartanburg County Sheriff Chuck Wright says they've arrested a realtor who is a registered sex offender. Kayla Brown and her boyfriend, Charlie David Carver, were last seen in August. The couple lived together in an apartment at Anderson Crossing. Tonight, Sheriff Chuck Wright says David Carver is still missing. WFF News for us, Allie Miles joins us live where deputies found Kayla Brown earlier today. Allie, still so much law enforcement out there. So much, Michael, and so many more expected tomorrow as well. If you take a look behind me, we're actually starting to see a few of them leaving right now, now that that sun is going down. This is Wofford Road in Woodruff. According to the sheriff, this is where tips led them this morning, and when they arrived, they heard Brown banging from inside a padlock container. That's when the sheriff says they found her, quote, chained like a dog. The person in custody, this is Todd Kolep. 45 years old, a registered sex offender, possibly, according to the sheriff, possibly a serial killer. He says they're searching this 100-acre property looking for evidence. They say Brown said there could be four bodies on this property when they saved her this morning. The sheriff says it's a miracle she was found alive. The investigators found them because they were like six or seven down here. We were going to search the property, um, and, and it was pretty emotional. Uh, to say the least, when, when, when she was found, especially, you know, when she was chained like a dog, she had a chain around her neck. You know, and I'm, I'm telling you, it's only by God's grace we found that, that, that little girl alive now. The sheriff's office has also been searching Colehep's property in Moore. They said they do believe Colehep and Brown and Carver all knew each other somehow. Brown and Carver obviously in a relationship, but they have not talked yet about how they knew Colehep. More questions, hopefully more answers sometime soon. Allie Miles, WYFF News 4. We're live here in Woodruff.